Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media. It's Thursday Media Day, and of course, we've got Sarah and my food back on. How are you? Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed it. I like the whole setup, and I enjoy every second of everything, yeah. And what happened with the belt? <laughs> I forgot the belt at the hotel. When we were sitting in the cab on our way here, it was like, you did bring the belt, right? No, I didn't. So the um, um, cab driver had to go back, get the belt, <laughs> get the key to my room, go and get it, and brought it here. So you let the Uber driver go in your room and get your belt? I think it was someone here from the team. So. I was going to say, that's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, Manchester is a nice place, but that's pushing it. Not that nice, my thing. I don't know. I think every people are so nice here, so yeah. Well, listen, your first uh, real high-profile press conference, how was it to sit up there with Amanda on the other side and uh, have a conversation about the fight? I think it was okay. I've uh, been preparing for this for a long time, and this is a part of the game. So I just try to enjoy it, enjoy it, and um, and answer the questions. Yeah, and you know, she gave a, a little bit of a not so nice answer yesterday when we were speaking to her. Yeah. So as of now, officially, you are Manchester's darling. Okay, so the whole of Manchester, as, although we've got to remain completely impartial, Manchester, get behind some Sarah Mahu, Mahfoud. Definitely. Oh, that would mean a lot to have a good support from Manchester, really. Well, the arena is going to be full up and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that everybody in Manchester knows you have a, a real talent and that, you know, you are a world champion. No, get, you know, get us wrong. You have equal standing in that ring. And uh, I think she's a little bit scared. What do you think? I also think so. She has a lot of pressure on her. And I think maybe she's underestimating me uh, because I know what I'm capable of and I will show it on Saturday. Well, listen, I know we've had a bit of fun in the interviews, but you are, you know, I think is it eight years, nine years unbeaten? You've, you know, you're 10 or 11 unbeaten fights. That's no mean feat. I mean, you are a very, very, very good fighter. I've met some strong opponents, and I met the official challenger to the IBF, and I won the title from uh, a champion. So, so I think I, when I get up there, I stop smiling. Yes, absolutely. Well, listen, that's that. We're looking forward to it. Obviously, day two of the media week. We've got the weigh in tomorrow. How's the weight? Are you bang on the weight? I'm actually already on ready the scale. Now. Yeah, so um, I'm just trying not to get it to drop too low. So, and it and it's you know we try and uh, as a media we try and sort of dissect who's going to win and who looks good and who doesn't. I'm not sure Amanda Serrano is looking her top form at the moment. I know she says she is, but I got a funny feeling there might be a little surprise on Saturday night with you in there. I hope to give you a big surprise. Yeah, because the fight's going to be better than Katie Taylor's, isn't it? You remember? I said that yesterday. <laughs> it was not meant like that. <laughs> I, I hope to give you um, a fight on the same level as Katie Taylor. I respect Katie very much. That's a good pullback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, listen, I know you're going to go off and do some other media. Look forward to the weigh-in tomorrow. I'm glad you enjoyed that up there today. So did we. And uh, we're looking forward to what happens on Saturday. Me too. I look forward to show you. See you soon.